most important phrase. It's just three notes. It's deceptively tricky because we're jumping over the sa, which is the note we're constantly referencing in our in our ears. Sa. Now we have to go below. Ni. Then jump. Ni. Okay, so sing that with me. And what have I added to this since last week? I'm doing a little curvature on the note. I'm, I'm going above re and coming down from ga. I don't say gare because it doesn't sound good. I just say re. doing on sa I'm, I'm, I'm circularizing it I like to use circle as a verb sa. I'm a circle on sa right now I'm a circle on there sa. so I'm going sunny the notes are sunny they sunny sa but it's very clumsy to say all that so we just say sa and, and we move through it <clears throat> sa. Now, ga is called the vadi. The vadi is like the king note of the raga. It rules the raga. And then we have the queen note, samavadi. So these notes are being pummeled into our ears all throughout the raga, more than the other notes. So they carry more weight. You know, it's, it's more like a, a, a monarchy than a democracy, this raga music. All the notes are not created equal. Certain notes are more important. Certain notes are more like helper notes. So we, we, we have to realize it's not just a scale. There's a whole kind of involvement here. Now. Last time Mina asked about the uh, the pakad. What is the pakad of this raga? This is very important. Also, these are kind of like stamp phrases. When you hear these phrases, if you know the raga, oh, she's singing Yemen. He's singing Yemen. He's playing Yemen. You hear that. Because these phrases are so iconic in the raga. They're like the stamp, they're like the ID card. Circularized on pa, like I did on sa. Sani. Same thing on pa. Pa ma. Pa ma da pa ma pa. I capsulate that into one consonant, pa, and then circularize it. Pa. It's like a kung fu move. Now check this out. What do we skip there? Sunny. 
hear the raga because on the way up as I was saying the arohi we're skipping sa we can sing pa on the way up but it's it's hipper to skip that also sometimes we sing but we can really get more the feeling of the raga by skipping fa also. It's not as strict as the sa, but we can, we can do both. So I'm bringing that note more into the raga on the descent. So when you practice, try to hear each note like a character. What is the character of Ma? Ma it kind of has a relationship there. They're both half step below Sa and Fa, respectively. Sani Pa Ma Da Ni Da Ma Da Pa. You see how there's kind of a, a release of the tension there when we come to Pa? That's part of the beauty of the raga because that's it's like a a release of the tension. Or it's really whatever you feel it to be, but it's it has to be felt to be communicated, I believe. The music music has to communicate something. So we use so many different things to, to communicate that. But once you embody yourself into it, then you can really communicate what you're doing. Feel me? So Madani That pa has a has a very different feeling, almost like a relief, like a ah pa. Now what about ga? It's like a peace, very peaceful character in the story. The raga should tell a story, really. It has to communicate something. So each of these notes are like different characters in the story. And, and, you, and if you just sit with them long enough, you start to hear it, and you start to hear the story, and you start to tell it in your own way. That's the goal of this music to me, is, is becoming so into it, so part of it, that you tell your own life story with it your own expression.
Now this is called mean. through the notes nipa try nipa nipa the thing is you have to land well land well land in tune then it sounds musical if you just do nipa it sounds bad because you're not landing anywhere you're not coming somewhere you, there's that arc of movement but you have to you have to get to one of the notes you have to land You know, this, this is our instrument now. We have to take care of it. We have to exercise. We have to be healthy. Singing really does that. And, and, and holding out these long tones really helps you control your breath. You got to sing from down here. You got to fill up this air cavity. This is, this is like, if you play guitar, this is your chamber. This is your resonance. And I want to talk about resonance for a minute because uh, I believe studying this music makes us better listeners. So we can listen to things and hear more inside of sounds, even everyday sounds. In the morning, we have like gardeners next door, like mowing their lawns really early. So what I'll do is I'll like, instead of being annoyed at that, I'll find the saw in that and start singing along. Or my coffee grinder. <laughs> so we can hear all this stuff at every sound if we really listen deeply. Even if it's hard to hear, oh, what is that pitch? Just decide. Oh, it's this. And then start singing with it. It's amazing. Once you decide that, that that's the saw in your mind, you'll hear it that way. Even if someone else hears it, someone else. Because some things, the pitch is very questionable. But the, the mental capacity is a lot of power. You decide, oh, this is the saw in that sound. <laughs> then you can sing with it because you've turned something annoying into then a tool for you to do something with. So try that when you do your coffee in the morning, if you, if you drink that stuff. All right, so the other thing I just wanted to talk about before we do the break and get into the rhythm is uh, why we're doing, why I wanted to teach about fundamentals. Because I believe that fundamentals are uh, what great music is based off of. Um, any master musician, you can see that they've really taken the fundamentals to the nth degree. And that's so important because uh, great music comes from, I believe, simplicity and communicating from the heart. Then we kind of transcend our technique and singing in tune, having good rhythm is like honing the technique. So we go through that and we work and we become better, we come better with the techniques and then we transcend it and we get to the the beautiful music. So mastering these fundamentals is so important because it's like the foundation in which we build our music on. And with this music, because we're not dealing with Western harmony, we're not dealing with chord changes and transpositions and modulations into different keys. We're staying in one key the whole time. We're just dealing with melody and rhythm. And we're dealing also with something that I like to call dronal harmony, which is the harmony of 
the Tanpura we're listening to, again, if, if anyone knew, make sure you're hearing the, the, the Tanpura while during this whole class, at least the whole beginning part. Because once we sing, we're creating a harmony. We're creating a harmony between the, the note and the drone. Say, ni sa ga sa ma sa ba sa da sa all those have harmonic relationships. It's dronal harmony because uh, it's something that is just connect, harmonized with the drone, not with modulations like Western music. You know, like a, like a blues or, or any kind of song that has chord changes. So, Jimmy, if you can post um, those other YouTube videos, there's some really good videos I created a couple years back about this. And they're also called Ragas and Rhythms. This class is embodying Ragas and Rhythms. And this gives you a whole bunch of background in the Sargams and uh, the Tintal polyrhythms, the Tintal uh, cycles. So um, check out these links later to really get some of those basic things that we're going to build on in this class. So, you know, Einstein said, if you can't explain something in simple terms, you probably haven't learned it well enough. So my goal in this class is to explain something simple enough that everyone can get it and that I become a better teacher and a better musician through that. Because for me, going through all this, this exercise and reviewing these fundamentals, I've been practicing every morning going through these again so I can really represent this well and learn as I'm doing this because I'm a lifelong learner. I want to keep learning until I'm six feet under. Maybe even after. We'll see if that's possible. But to me, learning is being alive. So all of this process of learning the fundamentals is helping me become better and hopefully is a gift to you as well and that we can share all this and kind of get, get better together, okay? So uh, we're going to take a, a little break in a minute, but I wanted to just ask you guys uh, if you're enjoying this and you think it's a value, please uh, invite some friends for next week. And you can post it on social media. You can email people. We have some emails uh, that you can send out that has all the links and all the information. You can share the videos. Also, get on the Raga Jazz uh, page if you use Facebook. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. Don't worry about it because uh, you're probably, you could be better off than some of us. <laughs> but if you do, get on that group because you can ask questions. I'm posting some videos there. And if you're not, I will send you those videos. I know Ben is not on Facebook, so uh, we can we we can post it also all those videos on my website too. So just make a request if you need that. If you're not on Facebook, if you are, join the Raga Jazz Music group because this is this is a place where I'll post the recordings of real vocalists singing this raga. And anyway, there's hundreds of them, but I'm going to post some special ones like I already did last week after the class of Rashid Khan. Amazing Khyal singer singing a tarana in Ragyaman. So the listening part is so important because as we listen more to vocal music, we get that sense of uh, how to hear the music and what the notes are and what the phrases are. And you'll start hearing the phrases that we're doing in the class in these great singers because it's it's... It's not rocket science. It really isn't. Some people like to mystify Indian music like it's this cosmic far out thing and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, you got to like balance 10 chakras and do all this. But it's just about learning these fundamentals, you know, and, and then embodying that and really cultivating it in your practice, your sadhana. Sadhana is your spiritual practice, your musical practice, whatever habitual thing you can do. If you can do habitual things every day, your your brain is going to be healthier. Everything you do will be more focused, you know? We can't be constantly zapped up in technology, you know? We got we to gotta have things we focus on and put everything else aside. So that's my feeling about being healthy through this, this practice. It's a sadhana. It's a discipline. So we're going to move on to the rhythmic stuff in, in a minute, but... Uh, 
before we do that, is there any questions? You can unmute yourself or you can type it in the uh, in the thing. We'll just take two minutes for any burning questions. Yo. Uh, question Jess and Alan yeah. over here. Hold um, on, go ahead. I heard, I heard you when you were doing ga sometimes that you were doing kind of like an embellishment. What what were the what were those notes if uh, if you don't mind? Oh, good. Who is this? It's the uh, Jess. Jess. Hey, Jess. Hey. Uh, good question. I don't remember. Uh, it was probably. Or. I think there were embellishments coming into God. Pariga was one of them. Or I could have been doing Mariga. Or ni or ni I think those are the three I did. Ni 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 garega. Ni rega. Mariga and pa. Does that answer your question? Cool. Anyone else? Good. Um, I had a quick question, if it's all right. Yo, who's um, that? It's Kip. Hi. Yeah, Kip. Kip, yeah. <laughs> yeah, later so, on. Um, so uh, I was reading an article uh, about sitars, actually, different types of sitars, and they uh -huh. were they're like the best sitar players are the ones who could sort of see, sing like a vocal style through their instrument. They called it gayaki anger. Gayaki, like yeah. And the like a Ravi Shankar style sitar was like Drupad, and then a Balayakar sitar was like Kyle. And so my question was, is that true? And is that kind of the goal of what we're doing here is to do eventually like a gayaki ang kind of thing? Or yes yeah. and no. Yes and no. <laughs> so that's a big that's a big conversation, um, and there's there's a lot of things which are a little bit uh, obfuscated about that because I believe all Indian music is based off vocal, um, but the gayaki ang is a certain uh, uh, style uh, karana who kind of take that as uh, and actually Valak Khan, Valak Khan is kind of the the, the the top sitar player well he's not around anymore but he Mustafa Ali Khan was kind of like the the metal metal of the of the gayaki ang so and what he played was full of very vocal style means so and and Ravi Shankar style is which is what I play which is my hagarana is is steeped more in that slow drupad style in the alap especially and a lot of rhythmic intricacy so that's the short answer um and then there are like violinists who play in gayaki ung style who, who follow the vocal style the vocal style ha uses different uh different tempos and different talas sometimes which are the rhythmic cycles so we'll get into that later but i hope that that suffices for a kind of a a short answer because um, yeah. it's a it's a big question, but that's a really good question because a lot of people get confused like that. I thought all Indian music is based on vocal, and it is, but then certain musicians kind of claim this: "Oh, we are the gayaki on um, vocal style instrumental yeah. musicians," you know. So that's a good thing to clarify. Cool, thanks. Yeah, sure. So I think we're going to move on to rhythms, and then uh, if people have more questions at the end. Uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, Alma, for playing. And I'm just going to step over because everyone needs to actually, like, stand up now so we can move. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is put on a metronome, and you guys don't have to do this. 
because you're just gonna be listening to my metronome. And uh, if you try to listen to your own, it's gonna be totally whack. Okay, because of the delay, you feel me? So I'm just bringing that up. And what we're gonna do is work on our jatis and our sub, jatis are subdivisions. So <clears throat> whenever we uh, work with jatis, what we're doing is we're subdividing each beat with different numbers. Okay, so we did up to five last time, I believe. So why do I still have that ton for on? Give me one sec. Can you all hear that? I'm actually, I, I'm using two, two computers. You see me here? So if you can hear this metronome, say yes. Point the mic over here a little bit. So this is what we're doing with the subdivisions, okay? We're moving. Ah, that's really frustrating. Hold on. I know where it is. Whew, sorry about that. That was like the Superman of cello drones. Overwhelming me. So this is 70 BPM. If you need to go slower at home, put it at 60 or whatever. Ka, 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 ka. This is our twos. Ka, 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 ka. Make sure you're moving with the B. Right, left. Ka. Now threes. Ka, ki, ta. Now we're going to go to fours. People are still coming into this. Jeez. That's the word, okay? Stay on the beat. Make sure you're moving with it. Remember, movement is good for your brain. That's what they're learning about brain science now. The more you move, the quicker your brain becomes. So if we move with our music, we're going to be brain quickened. I went into fives. Eventually, we'll double these rhythms. But we got to get the single rhythm first. Make sure you're with the beat and you're really feeling the accents on the beat. Now threes. So these are jatis, J-A-T-I, jatis. That's a South Indian word. It has to do with the 
subdivisions of the bead. Then we get to six. How do we feel six in one? Can you give me some water? You got that? Dinna kata kita. 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 Dinna so we're going to do that with all the rhythms, but let's first do a rhythmic scale up to six. I repeated the four twice, my bad. So the idea of rhythmic scales or we ascend up the ladder of rhythm. So we start one, two, three, four, five, six. Subdividing each beat. Let's try four times each. Da, 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 Okay, now, how about reverse? That's like a train leaving the station. How about coming into the station? Oh, that wasn't a good train sound, sorry. Now, what's next? Sevens, we didn't do this last week, so let's add this. The balls, the words we're gonna say for seven, Takita is three, right? Takademi is four. So we just put them together. Takita takademi takita. Whoa, that wasn't good. Takita takademi takita takademi takita takademi ta. Takita takademi takita takademi takita takademi takita takademi ta. If this is very fast for you, slow it down to 60 when you get home. Don't do it while you're driving. Shouldn't be driving anywhere. Huh? Anyway, stay at home. So stay at home and do this. So those accent beats are where we're stepping. Oh, bad. You can do it too. It's all, if it's fast for you, like I said, put it at 60 or even 50 beats per minute. Now, for those of you with the fast tongues, let's try eight. So, <clears throat> The typical eight in South Indian soca too. What is it? Takadimi, takajuna, takadimi, takajuna. Takadimi, takajuna. You could say takadimi, takadimi, but that's kind of dull. Why repeat the same thing when you can add a takajuna? Takadimi, takajuna, ta. 
So I just did it four so you can hear. Single and double, that way we get four and eight. Are y'all still moving around? I forgot to repeat my metronome, my bad. Here it comes. Now, let's, let's move on to the polyrhythms. We only have a few more minutes. <clears throat> so, by the way, if you haven't downloaded the, uh, the PDFs, this stuff is written out on those. So uh, grab those on the link, okay? Because as soon as you guys really get this stuff, we'll, we'll start adding other cool stuff to it oh man why did i lose my metronome hey paul it was the link that's in your text okay i'm just gonna go on without it because something's whack here can you hear me can you hear me yes okay good so check this out <clears throat> on one of those documents there's also a sheet of polyrhythms it looks like this, okay? It's got three over two, couple variations, and then it's got four over three. So this stuff is so fun and cool, and it really makes you better because you, you learn to feel two rhythms at the same time, or two tempos, you could say. So for instance, ta 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 boom ta ta boom ta 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 boom ta that's the basic two and three. In your right hand, you're doing a uh, two. Your left hand, you're doing three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and 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 three. Then there's some variations. Most people can do this pretty easily. If you can't, don't worry about it. All you have to do is practice. The main thing is you can just do your hands on your knees and try to count your left hand and your right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. One, three, one, two. Okay, now the first variation of this, uh, by the way, you can feel this also, you can count six and you can count it in three. So one, I was counting in three. One, two, and three, one, two, and three. Or you can count all the subdivisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing. So it's very easy to understand when you look at this chart and, and these variations. So this, the, the first variation is you double the right hand, which is in two. Ba, 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 ba. So this is taka, taka, dinka, din, 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 taka, dinka, din. Try to bounce on a drum stool. Taka din ta din, taka din ta din, taka din ta din, taka 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 din ta din, taka din ta din, taka din ta din, taka din ta din. That's the first variation. Don't worry if you don't get this yet. I just want to demonstrate it for you. Next one. Taka taka din ta din ta. We add a dink, taka, dink, dink, taka, dink, dink, taka, dink, dink. 
So it's like both right, left, left, right, left. Both right, left, right, left, right. Both right, left, right, left. Both right, left, right, left. Both right, left, right. It'll sound like this. So point is, try to differentiate different sounds. The reason I wanted to do that, I can't do that. If you have two different sounds, you're going to hear the polyrhythm better. So these are the variations. The last one I just want to show you is the four and three. So this four and three is slightly more advanced polyrhythm because we have to stretch it out over 12 beats because four times three is 12. That's where it'll come out. So when we're counting four, we have three beats. One, two, and two, and two, and four, and because that's 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. When we're doing the, the threes, we have four of those because that's also 12. One, two, 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 three, two, four. So we put that together, we get or So then you speed it up. Now count one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'd like to ask you what kind of mnemonic not demonic, mnemonic hookup could you create for these polyrhythms? For instance, pass the frickin' butter. Bergamo used to say that one. He used a slightly more colorful word. Pass the frickin' butter. Pass the frickin' butter. Pass the frickin' butter. One of my teachers, John Bergamo. So, Now, it's easy, it's kind of easier to do the composite rhythm if you think of it as one rhythm, but if you can count the different speeds, then like I was doing earlier, then you really get the mastery of it. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, whoops, takita, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one. So that's the whole point of this. If this one's a little hard, don't worry about it. Stick with the three over two. Boom, bakatin, boom, bakatin. And count the three and the two in this one. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. I want to live in America. Actually, I don't, but that's a great mnemonic to use that song because it goes one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a perfect demonstration of that polyrhythm done in two different rhythms. Da, 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 one, two, one, two, three. So, ah! grab these, you guys. Please let some people know that we're doing this because this has been great. We've had about 30 people each time all over. Um, I want to see if there's any questions and just take a few minutes. Uh, who is here for the first time? Some of you, I can't even see the names. Nisha. Nisha? Hey. Just say hello if you're here hey, for everyone. the first time. What's, I'm going to unmute CH. Chofamas at Gmail. What's your name? Hi, Kate. Oh, you know what? That's what happened. Go ahead. 
Uh, my name's Kate. Hi, Kate. Where are you at? Um, I'm in Colorado right now. All right. What part? What part of Colorado? Uh, Preston. All right. Welcome. How'd you hear about this? Uh, crit. Cool. Awesome. Love Colorado. I yeah, love it's really nice here. So cool. Well, welcome. Um, do you have any questions? Um, no, I'm I'm a professional singer, um, and I really, really love this stuff, and I have no idea how to do it, so I'm kind of just listening. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, uh, if you have any, uh, I'm really happy to have a professional singer. What's your name again? Uh, Kate. Kate, okay. So, um, yeah, if you ever have any suggestions about singing, please do share them because- uh, No uh, suggestions. Okay, well, I'm just a hack, so I'm always I'm I'm always ready to hear uh, suggestions uh, on that front. No, I just I really love all the all the nuances and the slides, and I can't wait to learn how to do it. And awesome. It, yeah. Well, check out the uh, check out those those three ragas and rhythm videos, and and that'll that'll help really give the foundation. But thanks for joining us, Kate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and and put your. Put your email, make sure we have your email so we can get you on our list too. Hey, Nisha, welcome. Nisha, are you still down in, in, in beyond the Orange Curtain, down in Orange County? Yes, I, I am, I'm in Irvine. All right, so how's the sitar going? Um, I'm starting to get back into it. Unfortunately, a few months back, I was in a car accident, so my neck yeah. has been kind of the obstacle. So you doing better? Starting to get better. Yay! Awesome. Praise God. Thanks for being here. Hey, of course. Good to this see you. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who else is new? Kabir, we saw you last time. Thanks for being here. We saw you, Mina. Thank you. Ben, were you here last time? No. Well, what's your deal, Ben? Tell us. I know you. I know. Uh, Paul and I, at this point, we go way back. <laughs> so, at uh, least a couple months or six months or something. Yeah, Ben's a guitar player and is in my class at GCC, which is all online now too, of course. Yeah. That's... Yeah. So you got any questions, bro? Nah. Uh, I just like, you know, the extra content you're putting out there. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, Jess, were you here last time? It's your first time. Um, I was on the last one. Yeah, I've seen you in concert like twice actually here around Southern California. Cool. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, I hope you nice. get a lot out of this. Yeah, hey, great. Sunita. Paul, this guy next to me wants to introduce himself. All right. What's your name? Dale. Tell me your name again. Dale. His name is Dayo. Dayo! Rock Dale. it! I hope you can sing with us, buddy. Dayo built a drum set to be able to play these rhythms. Orale! Wow! Okay, okay. We need you in the class every week, Dayo. Yep. I want you to rock that out. Cool. Great to see you. Hey, Nelson, were you here last time? Uh, yeah, we were. We're here last cool. time. Cool. How are you doing? Long. Wait, where are you again? I was from New Zealand. That's right. Yeah. So what time is it yes, there? Sir. Like five in the morning? Six? Seven? Uh, three o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday. Oh, oh it's pretty off. Okay. <laughs> cool. You have any questions? No, no. Thanks. Thanks for all the um, great Zoom lessons. It's awesome. Yeah, spread the word, brother. Thanks for being here. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, Mike. Is that Mike? No, it's Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Um, so there were some questions about what people can do to practice in the meantime. Of course, we have the PDFs that you sent, but are there any um, other videos aside from the Ragas and Rhythms uh, course? And then, of course, you know, the Raga Jazz Thank You Fit course, like, are there any alternative things where they can, you know, people can train their ear and sort of practice yeah. singing, uh, like the, the vocal portion? Yeah, good. Uh, so the most important thing is try to sing with the tanpura every day. And you do, it doesn't have to be B, by the way. And I mentioned this last time, but I didn't today. Sing, <clears throat> I, 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 I sometimes sing at C or C sharp. Sometimes I go lower even to B flat, but find what works for your voice and just sing with that every day because the tanpur is like the metronome for pitch. It, it, it's the thing that, that allows you to hear if you're in tune, you know, like in Western music, 
the reason why uh, vocal performances are often accompanied by piano or other instruments is, is so the singers can have something to hear that brings them in tune. So the tanpura does that role for us with just the drone. So number one, sing every day with the tanpura and, and, and work with your breath. And then um, as far as the, the, the fundamentals and what you can do during the week, those three ragas and rhythms yeah. videos, which I think Jimmy, Jimmy, did you post those? Oh, well, sorry. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, okay. it, it, I posted it several times, but uh, the last YouTube link I shared was to those videos. And then I just also shared the Raga Jazz Music, the Kiffit Chorus, which has two full courses. Um, yeah, that's a pro level course. So that's kind of a, a, a paid curriculum if you if and that's for instrumentalists mainly. So if uh, and singers, but it's it's uh, I'm playing more in those courses. So uh, if if you want to jump right into those uh more power to you but as far as practicing and the, and the kind of free uh resources i would start with those three videos they're quite in depth some of them are i think they're like 10 or 12 minutes each uh or maybe not that long but they cover a lot of content and so i would and there's even a piece in yaman that you can learn there with the sarangi so you can sing along with it uh there's tons of great resources on the internet um i wanted you to say that you know if if you want to have a, a vocal, a real Indian vocal teacher, I can recommend people. Uh, but I would suggest learning these fundamentals first because that's quite an investment uh, of time and money, of course. Uh, so having the, having the foundation really solid before you go to a vocal teacher mm -hmm. or even an instrumental teacher is really something I, I recommend. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I hope, that, I hope that answered the question. Hey Mike, how you doing, bro? Paul, the first of that the the, the ragas and rhythm series is an eighteen minute video, so there's a lot oh, yeah. of content there to to go over. It's like, I think all in all, all three videos uh, is like forty five minutes or so. It's it's a lot of content people can check out if they want. Yeah, and uh, share this stuff, you guys, and get on our like I said, get on our raga jazz uh, Facebook group if you use Facebook. Hey Kabir, how you doing, bro? What is that? I'm like looking at some. Oh, it's a crystal. It's good. It's a an orb. Cool. All right. That's... I'm well, man. I'm very well. Thank you. Yeah, good. Good to not see you, but uh, <laughs> I, I hope to see you next time. Okay. Good to see the crystal. Yeah. How's the singing going? It's going well. I have a great voice. All right. <laughs> cool, man. All right. I'm legend Thanks. in my own mind. You know that. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You got any questions? No, I'm good, dude. Awesome. Okay. Nancy, you there? What's yeah, up, homegirl? I'm practicing. I'm practicing. <laughs> All right. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. So anybody, how about uh, Krit Kumar? What's up? Good to see you. Uh, Karina, is this your first time? Hi. Hi. Yes. Where are you, Karina? I'm in Caracas, Venezuela. That's right. Oh, you're Pedro's friend. Yes, I'm yes, Pedro's friend. Yes, bienvenidos. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I came late. I came late because I was like, I was not so sure what time it was because of the time change. So, oh, right. but now I know it was a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, for next time. I think actually this is this is live streaming on YouTube, so you should be able to watch the whole thing uh, as soon as it's over, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Okay. I'll take Jimmy, a look at that. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah. can you put the link for that YouTube thing in there? Sure, sure, I will. Uh, it, it starts uh, a little bit later in it, but uh, you'll at least be able to see more of it, Karina. Okay. Yeah, yeah. because I, with, with the time zone thing, I was like, mm, I wasn't sure. Yeah, so. we'll sort it out. I, Good to I, have now, you. I now know it's 10.30 uh, for me, 10.30 okay. p.m. <laughs> All right, I hope it's not too late, but thanks for being here. Okay, thank you. Okay, Karina. Okay, who is this? Ama Amaraja? Is that how you say your name? Amaraja? It's Amaraya. Amaraya, how are you? Where are you? I am in uh, Boulder, Colorado. Another Coloradian. Yeah, and you and I know Megan Yelkut. That's right, you contacted me. Great, thanks for being here. You have any questions? Thank you for teaching. Uh, no, not yet. It just everything is always every time I take a class like this, it's always a little faster than I'm expecting. 
Yeah, well, I hope that um, that that doesn't become a discouragement because what I like to do is because we have different levels in the class is I'll start with very basic level things and then we'll get into things that for some people will be maybe a little overwhelming. But what I always tell people when you're learning this music, because I've been studying this music 35 years, that learning this music is an unfolding process of bewilderment. So <clears throat> learn to embrace the chaos, <laughs> you know, and, and there's a lot that you can learn just by osmosis without necessarily understanding it, just by exposing yourself to the music. So, uh, so don't worry too much about not getting everything as, and, and, and if there's specific things that you're like, what? It just, just, you can always ask me, you know, in the Facebook group or by email or however, however you want. Sounds great. Thank you. Sure. Hey, Sebastian, are you new? Wait, Sebastian Noel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time. First time. This is great. Cool. Where are you? Uh, New York. All right. How's everything going? <laughs> well, nothing's going, but it's going. <laughs> yeah. I'm going. I'm going good. So okay, good, uh, man. You know, just hold up here. But uh, other than that, I I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Cool. So you um, have any questions? Uh, yeah, I actually do have a question. So, so I'm I'm a uh, guitarist, jazz guitarist. So, is your is guitar your your was that your first instrument or are you yes. primarily used to? So you did you uh, you took out the frets on the guitar? Is that right? I, I was checking out some videos. Yes. I was. Yeah, I play um, fretless guitar. Uh, <clears throat> my main instrument is sitar, but I've been playing guitar the yeah. longest, and now I actually play a lot of upright bass, and I play. Uh, bass ragas also okay but, but i just did a i just did a little uh fretless guitar promo for this class uh i don't know if you saw it but yeah i, I got, saw i saw it i saw a video with you and it looks like did you take out the frets yourself yes. or it was yeah right I'm, I'm thinking of doing that i have a, I have a guitar that i can i can do that with yeah yeah the thing about fretless guitar that i do that's kind of weird and different is i actually play it on my nail like this oh like a sorrow so, yes, because yeah. I get much better tone with the steel strings. If you play on your fingers like normal guitar players, it's kind of th 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 there's not much sustain. Yeah, but yeah, but right. if you can get on your nails, it's it's a challenge. But uh, you, you you'll get a much brighter tone, especially with the steel string. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, and then I added those chikari strings, so you can kind of get the uh, the other sounds going on. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Paul, could people buy those Godin uh, fretless guitars that you have? Do the, are yeah. those, like, like are those like still being made? The so you can so buy. I like, know. I also play a Godin electric fretless. So if, mm -hmm. if G O D I N, if you look up their guitars, they do make some fretless guitars. The acoustic yeah. ones I played in the video is kind of a one of a kind though, because I designed that and had it made. Yeah, cool. I, I tried it with a slide. There's a guitarist here that, mm -hmm. yeah, he does really well with this. Like, it's kind of a mini slide. Oh, but yeah. I, it's it like, it's so hard to stay on one string. It slips off the string easily. So I did. Yeah, like I've never been good with the slide. So yeah. uh, but a lot of guitarists, you know, play indie music on slide. That's actually much more common than what I do. That's yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's very common even in India. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Cool. What's your name again? Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for being thank here, you man. Thank so much. This is great. I'll, are I'll you in the city that. or are you out, outside of New York? I, I'm in the city. I'm right by the by the Hudson. I'm in like Midtown. Wow. All right. Well, well, stay healthy, brother. <laughs> Trying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Hey, man. Eduardo, are you there? Hey, Eduardo. Hi. How you doing? Where Hi. where where are you? I'm from Brazil. All right. Were you here last week? Yeah. No, no. This is the first time. Okay, wonderful. How'd you hear about it? Um, I'm a subscriber to your channel. I'm also a sitar player. All right. Awesome. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, I'm glad you could be here. Yeah, it's it's past midnight here, but no problem. <laughs>
I appreciate I appreciate you being here anyway, man. Uh, that, that's yes, great. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Got um, I got here a little bit late, uh, but uh, I'll check out the the whole video on YouTube later. Okay, and, great. Uh, yeah, yeah. I could guess a little bit uh, of the polyrhythms and uh, okay, everything uh, in Indian music for me in the rhythmics, uh, it uh, it resembles a lot of Brazilian music because of African influence and African yes. politics. So yes. there's a lot of things to, to relate with uh, Brazilian music. And I've been trying here, uh, South Brazil, to, to to make some some fusions here. And yeah. it's quite interesting, very good jazz musicians around. So everybody, can uh, can add a lot to it so yeah i'd love to hear some of what you're doing man i i, I i'm a huge fan of brazilian music and uh, yeah, yeah for sure yeah and Mr. Pascual too. is one of my favorite musicians on the planet him and ravi shankar yeah yeah for sure for sure yeah. <laughs> great to have you man thank you yeah great to be here oh, to okay sydney are you there uh let's see here am i unmuted yep Okay, hi. Yeah, I don't, my video is not working. So That's okay. See. That's okay. <laughs> I can see you with your guitar there. I know you were here last week. Is it, you got any questions today? No, no, this has been great. It's nice to uh, just feel the um, quality of your teaching and connect to Rajiv G's energy and uh, yes. the rhythms, the polyrhythms were helpful to see the PDFs written down to break down um, you know, with left and right, that was really helpful. So okay, cool. It's great, great to be here. Thank you. Great. You see that picture of Rajiv G back there? Oh yes, yes. Wow. When was that? That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Is it Calais? laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. he he came to uh, Ashland. We had him. Um, we hosted him. Chad and I ha hosted him up in uh, Ashland, Oregon at SOU. Yeah, you know, Chad cool. was my first college roommate. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, Rajiv G is such an inspiration. So that's that's one of my gurus, y'all. Rajiv Tarnath and above, that's Ravi Shankar. The first album I ever heard of Indian music when I was 12 years old. And that's Rajiv G is a Sarod player. He lives in Mysore now. He's pushing 90, but he's still playing so great. Uh, so anyway, that's who she's uh, referring to. Thanks for being here. Hey, Miguel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, how are you? Good, man. You have any questions? No, thank you. Great lesson, as, as, as always. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Is there anyone else who wants to say anything before we sign out? Uh, Mina, Mike, anyone? Nelson? Well, I have, if people um, want to take lessons, could they reach out to you or um, absolutely? You know, like any like private lessons, like, especially like it, you know, there are a few instrumentalists here. If you guys like want to go deeper with that, um, you can reach Paul at uh, paulzlivingstone at gmail.com. So yeah, you can put my email in there too. Uh, yeah, I do lessons on Zoom, especially these days. <laughs> uh and 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 that's what you know one of the reasons i'm just trying to reach out to get you know, i've been given so much with this music i feel like uh i just want to make it available on some level for people to be able to 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 to, to grow through the music you know just like i'm still growing i'm still learning i'm still studying all the time i'm going back to india inshallah next november to study on a grant on a fellowship <clears throat> so I'm super excited about doing this. I hope you guys can tell some friends, join the Facebook group. Uh, did you want to say something, Mina? Yeah, I was looking at the evening sangam which you're given. So you play yeah. one note each thing and starting at Kali? Yes, yes, on the PDF. We haven't actually yeah. sung that in the class, but you can mm -hmm. hear that on the Raga Jazz videos that we posted. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to play. And you said, Miss... Omit first song and playing. So, girl starts on the ninth beat, or you leave start from the tenth beat. Tenth beat. Yeah. Tenth. She's referring to a, a notation or one of the PDFs. That's
that so we haven't sung that but we'll probably start singing through that next week uh no it's trying to play it and uh, start. Like, confused yeah okay good start. yeah so just start on on kali with the chick and then and then automatically the ga will be on 10. okay okay Got anyone it. else and when are your gcc classes those are uh tomorrow night oh yeah, I teach at Glendale Community College, and we have a we have an ensemble class uh, on Tuesdays. So um, next semester, um, if you live in LA, you can sign up for that. But um, till then, for me. yeah, till then, uh, join us here. <laughs> All right, this was super fun, you guys. I hope that it was useful. And uh, please do spread the word. And you got you got a bunch of links there. You can learn more. Until next week, glang it out, Takadimi. God bless you all. See you next time. Okay. All right. We end on that tea high. We need to have tea high at the end. There you go. Over and out, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.